are in the thick of winter here. Hey, Noel, it's Dan. How about a challenge for your fourth birthday? Let's see if I can find five bird species in five minutes. Huh? Ready? For the rest of you, I'm Naturalist Marty. Come along on this virtual hike. Let's see if we can turn up. This fruit from a sumac. It's a shrub that loses its leaves into winter, but the fruit has persisted into winter. Pretty cool. Even in 10 degree weather, that water's rushing. It's heading to the Cuyahoga River, and then out to Lake Erie. Happy trails. Whoa, those look sharp. You see, plants have adaptations too. Don't you think these needle-like spines would really just be a pain in the mouth of an herbivore? So this is an adaptation for the plant to slow down herbivory, to slow down other animals munching on it. Ouch! Take a look at this woodpecker hole. Left over from this past summer is a nest from paper wasps. They build that nest by visiting leaves and they take off little pieces of the leaf, little bitty bits at a time, and they bring them back here after they chew them up, and they put them together as a nest. And then the whole colony lives in there. And they've since died off, and this is just hanging here in the winter. closer look at one of these layers from the nest. And deep within that layer are chambers, six-sided chambers. That's a lot of work to go back and forth from leaves to build this, just this one layer of that huge nest. Challenge accepted and crushed. Starting with song sparrow, then American tree sparrow, house finch, Yellow runt warbler, that's a good one for winter. And what's that last one? Black capped, you got it? Black capped chickadee. Okay, happy birthday, Noel. Bye for now. <laughs>